Do you know how to install a power regulator? Outstanding, Captain. Your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable in the event of another catastrophic engine failure. Our engine room is located behind you, across the cargo bay, up the ladders. As always, I am at anything you'd like to discuss. Nothing too out of the ordinary. Just your run-of-the-mill vicar with a violently enthusiastic... Uh, that's what my parents called it. I grew up in a pit of a town, much... I was destined to be a laborer like my parents, but I was... In fact, my parents, ironically. They internalized the precepts of scientism like no one I've ever known. They had a pure faith. A faith that brought joy to them regardless of the situation. I envied that. I wanted that pe- They thought I was fighting the plan. Should have accepted my lot. Some people pursue the clergy for power, prestige. But that was not me. The simple version is this. The force which we call the Grand Architect created the universal equation that underlies and defines everything in the universe. Everything flows from the equation, or in layman's terms, the grand plan. Is the grand architect a consciousness? A natural force? Did it create the equation on purpose? The answers to these questions don't really matter. The plan is not one rigid path. Some choices make the path smoother. Some It's like an unbreakable elastic band. It will only stretch so far before it's... I've been thinking on that. There's a former so uh, infamous philosopher scholar who fled Terra II some years ago. He's an expert on Bakonu. He's also who told me of the journal's presence in Emerald Vale. If anyone in this colony could translate that book, it would be him. The only one I'm aware of. I suppose we could always just ask random passers-by if they are fluent. A thousand pardons, my good captain. Now, we should start on the Groundbreaker. It's where I'd go if I wanted to get off Terra 2. Great place to pick up a ride to Hephaestus, Scylla, even Monarch. All I need is access to a data cartridge from the security terminal. There, I'll comb the last six months of departure manifest to track the Philosophist's off-world destination. Thank you. What can I do for you, Captain? All systems are operating within acceptable parameters. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. a communication request from Dr. Phineas Wells. Ah, there you are. Hale and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any, uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. Oh, that, yes, um, that's probably permanent. I wouldn't worry about it, though. I'm sure you're fine. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. 
food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, uh, help us, find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design. Cutting edge technology years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it a marvelous device. I'm quite proud of myself. The Shroud changes the user's appearance to mimic that of another. It has limits. First generation technology, you see. But promising. Exciting to see it in use at last. Very simply, the Holographic Shroud uses biometric information only stands up to a casual scrutiny. Use it too long, bound to flicker, blur, something like that. Movement makes it more. Best used in moderation. Maintain your distance. Act normal. No running, no jumping. Don't draw their attention. If they pay attention, they're more likely to notice flaws in the hologram. Excellent. I'll contact you. And remember, the board's only in- Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, Please select a destination on your next. Destination. Mission reached the groundbreaker. Can we talk? Make yourself at home. By Verity, what are we contemplating today? 
I'll run headlong into too many... What about you? And how did he do that? Well, you do seem different than every other colonist. Let's... That seems a dangerous proposition. Why risk your life now that it's been returned to you? A commendable attitude. Of course. Are you ready to break into security on the Groundbreaker? This is my favorite room. It's so special. Hey, Captain. I heard that Groundbreaker's got a real good engineer. A lady named June Lay Tennyson? I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. If you got time to swing us by, I mean. I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you a can of Borston beans she could- Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Did you want to talk about something else? Mostly, yeah. I lived in the maintenance office near all my life. Mr. Thompson never let me. Except for my schooling years, I was always beside him. Or tied to him. He used to carry me about in a sling when I was real little. When I got older, he set me to sorting tools and parts while he worked. Later, he taught me simple fixes like busted crate latches. Not on the regular. Once in a great long while, a Saltuna boat would break down on the pad. He'd always bring me along for those. Mostly, he did the same as me. Kept Bess, I mean, the, the cannery, running. Turned loaders, plumbing and electricity, some plaster. I'm not exactly a model employee. Not like he wanted. The kind that stays quiet and gets the right work done in the right order every day. It's not normal for anyone to do as their parents. You take a vocational test. That decides your schooling and your career. When I test it out for maintenance, well, I'm good at making things work. There's times I'm work. Anyhow, I, I was happy to get it. Yep. I... About a year. That never s- Oh, gosh. <laughs> what? You want me to leave? Captain, you can't mean it. Oh, <laughs> Hey, Captain. I'm in space. I never thought I'd be able to say that. That's not the point. This half would just knock out one of my workers. Yeah, with a toss ball stick, I heard you the first time. There weren't any witnesses. No witnesses? He's not even denying it. Jackass had it coming. Shut it, Felix. You're not making this any better. You... Hey, no offense, but... I don't think this walking saltuna can's gonna appreciate you. Keep talking, Millstone. See what happens. Now's not a good time. So, go space your- You must really want a truncheon through your teeth. Do what you want. Whatever you heard, it's all- I had this foreman, right? Guy never liked me, always trying to get a rise out of me. But I keep my chin up, right? Be the bigger man, I tell myself. 
He's a spacer's chosen man, though. So when the Chosen beat my rangers the other night, my foreman comes swaggering up with his head full of boasting. That's when I broadsided him with a tossball stick. Yeah. Look, this was a long time coming. Guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky-high foreman and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. Well, former dock worker. Enjoy my freedom. Scrounge together enough bits for a zero-G. Other than that? Hey, not for nothing. But I saw you wander out of that ship over there by the dock. Captain of the Unreliable. You're like something out of a serial drama. Hey, I don't want to talk your ears off, guessing you got places to be. I appreciate your time. Felix Millstone. Please see you around, boss. Going for a stroll around the docking base? Going for a stroll around the docking base? This is it. Security. I can check the departures registry to find out... Identification, please. Captain Hawthorne, you said. Let me apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your day. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. But we've hardly been out of Edgewater long enough to get in trouble. Well, isn't this wonderful? The captain's done something to get on the board's bad side. Now, hold on, this isn't the end of the world. Probably. You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. Access to that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned... I shouldn't be mentioning it. If I had to take a guess as to why, you must have riled up someone important. You take the starch out of him, Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? Wanda Dorset over in sickbay? Tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not come. Much approved. Is there anything else I can help you with? Maybe. Most of the shipping traffic... Two biggest operations are the board. That is, Halcyon Holdings and Sublight Salvage. But there are independent operators around the promenade deck. Most of those jobs are going to take you off station. Are you pulling my leg? You must be one of them long-haul freighters from outside the colony goes like this. Back on Earth, before the crossing, the powers that be were selling off stakes in distant star systems they thought had potential. A bunch of companies decided to throw in together and form the Halcyon Holdings Corporation, then buy up the rights to this here colony. That group's what we now call the Board. Sitting around, drinking whiskey and smoking cigars, yeah, probably. Can't say for sure, of course. Doubt I'll ever see the inside of it myself. Glad to help. Commandant Sanita might have a couple of folks she needs killed. Bad folks, I mean. Not, uh, not regular folks. She'll be at the security desk behind me. Chief Jun Lei might- No kidding? 
I'd love to get a look at this old girl's inner. Happy to help. You're real wealthy. Can we move this along? I have a certain, uh... Relative to the board hold, they aren't rich, but they aren't likely to... They strip the parts from derelict ships and abandoned outposts. Sublight gives me the creeps. I've known folks who went to work for them and just... They're on the promenade run... All right. You noticed, huh? What can I say? We're passionate folks, and the board can't abide that independent spirit, especially not when it might impact their bottom line. All their interstellar freighters come through us, and we skim a few bits off the top and manifest processing fees with every one. Folks around here will bluster that the board hates our freedom, but really, they know we can stop their out-system shipments. It's a delicate balance, right? We could cancel their freighters' docking privileges in retaliation, but where'd that lead us? They got assault cruisers, gunships, and a handful of mining operations. We push them too hard, maybe they decide we'd be better in 10 trillion little pieces. Or they cobble together a new groundbreaker and put up. The board wouldn't do that. The board is necessary to provide order to the colony. They believe it's their... It's a tough line to walk, no doubt about that. But we may do all right. So far, anyway. Sure thing. Be seeing... Carry on. Move along. Hi there. Haven't seen... What can Groundbreaker Security do for you? This is the... Sec if you're here to report a crime, you'll want to talk to Commandant Sunita. I'm not... Sure. And stuff from outside the system, too. Off the uh, interstellar freight. All right. Unless you're here to file an incident report or to inquire. Got a hot one for you. Captain Gunner McRed. Just 26 hours old. Uh, the posting, that is. <sighs> Allegations include several counts of flying under the influence, carrying open alcoholic containers, failure to pay docking fees, resisting arrest, and assaulting not one, but two officers. Swerving in the air was more like Spilled Rizzo's violent. Last tip we got pointed toward the back bays. You want the reward? Do the legwork. You and about six other enterprising mavericks. It's only a I do hope you're the lucky hunter, though. Try not to be distracted by the glare of the adverts. Lots of unsavory types about.